All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, no jumper here, Adam22. Hit up my website, nojumper.com. This isn't even available yet, but we got all kinds of good stuff. Just wanted to throw that in there, nojumper.com. Anyway, my good friend, uh, Diego, a.k.a. Lil Xan, he has uh, recently made an announcement that he is going to be headed off to rehab. Now, he said it a couple times on Instagram, and then people started to think that he was bullshitting because he wasn't, like, immediately in rehab. But apparently there were some issues where, I guess, like, you don't just get to go to rehab whenever you want. There's different issues with people staying there and rooms opening up and all this kind of stuff. Um, so let's before we even get into anything, let's just take a look at the posts that have been posted. If you see right here, account run by Annie Smith. So his girlfriend uh, is actually running the account for him right now. Um, this is the first one that she wrote. This sweet angel of mine officially entered rehab this morning. This is from one day ago. I'm sorry for all the confusion circulating about Diego leaving for rehab. It's a tricky thing since people are coming in and out of the facility so often that the rooms end up getting uh, switched around and the dates can be pushed back. I'm so beyond proud of this precious boy for being the strongest person I know and for wanting to live a better life. Please keep him in our prayers. He's doing his best right now to find peace with himself. We love you all so much, and we appreciate all the support. I love him beyond words, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for our family, Xanarchy family. Heart, heart, heart. Love, Annie. Okay, next one. Diego was just admitted into his first treatment. He loves each and every one of you, sending good wishes and prayers to him. We thank you all so very much for all the love and support you are sending his way. We will be back soon with another Top 10 album. Was the first one top 10? Anyway, uh, you know, big, big shout to Zan. Let me talk about this real quick. Um, the whole time I've known Zan, like before he became famous, there was definitely, you know, it was pretty obvious that he was addicted to drugs. And I believe that at that time it was primarily Zan's. And I believe that what he's going for, going to rehab for now is primarily uh, Norco's from what I know. Uh, he's just got issues with pain pills. I've seen him in, you know, you see somebody over the years in varying states and you sort of get to, you sort of start to be able to measure it in your head. Like, oh, sometimes, sorry, I have like fucking foam forming around my lips. This beard's driving me nuts. Sometimes I would see him and he'd just be totally fucking plastered. Like you just tell he wasn't on there. And sometimes I would see him and he'd seem like mostly sober. And it's definitely like, you know, different levels to which you'd see him. And for a while, you know, he was always talking about, anti-Zan he's like anti-Zan movement but you know I don't know to what extent that was true and I don't know to what extent he was just doing nar uh, Norcos or like pain pills lean whatever and if he was really off the if he was really not doing Zans anymore so I'm not 100% sure about what his main vice is but I don't think that it was like primarily Xanax um I've had friends over the years who really 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 needed to go to rehab and when I think about it in retrospect, I wish that the situation had been different. Like I have one friend in particular who's like the worst alcoholic ever. And, you know, I've always just thought that he needed to go to rehab. But it's like it's really, really hard to just force somebody to go to rehab. That's not really how these things work. Uh, normally, you have to like wait until their life gets so fucked up that they kind of want to go to rehab. Now, the problem with somebody like Lil Xan is that he's very much like – insulated from the negative effects of his drug abuse because of the fact that you know he's making all this money he's famous he has all these different people that will get drugs for him like a lot of the problems that regular old drug abusers face are problems that if you're a famous drug abuser you no longer have to deal with um and he's definitely like an example of that and you know i, I see it all the time with people like you know, people who go on tour all the time, they go on tour and like you might want to go on tour and just stay away from drugs. But then you go on tour and on day one, if people know you do Xanax, people are bringing you Xanax. If you, people know that you do Coke, they're bringing you Coke. Like that's what rap fans do because they want to hang out with you. They want to party with you. They want to be around you. So it's like very, very hard once you get to the point in your life where you can just do this stuff all the time. It's very easy to get into that state of mind. It's very hard to get away from it. Like, you know, and also it's like the money thing. It's like at a certain point in your life, like you're, I know a lot of people who are addicted to drugs, but only a little bit because they only have a little bit of money. Like they make thousands, a couple of thousand bucks a, a month. They just straight up don't have enough room to do all the drugs that they would want to do. Like they probably would be doing 
a thousand or two thousand dollars worth of cocaine every month if they could afford it you know and one day you're just Lil Zane and then all of a sudden you're you're Lil Zane the celebrity and like maybe you were doing X amount of drugs before but now all of a sudden you can do X amount of drugs times 10 and you probably don't even have to pay for it because there's people who are going to enable you and bring it to you and stuff and like I remember having a conversation with Zane's manager a few months ago and he was asking me he's like do you think that we should really like do it should we really actually like send him off to rehab and I was like my opinion yes because he needs to like see what it's like to at least temporarily be re rehabilitated even if even if this isn't the time even if he gets out and like I guarantee that in a month or two months or however long this takes that he's gonna get out and he's gonna feel like a new man and he's gonna feel like fuck like I'm not doing that shit again it's not 100% that the first time he goes to rehab is actually going to like be the time that it clicks and that it works out for him. But there's a very good chance that it, it, it raises the chance, basically. I also, I think of, uh, I'm not even going to name him, but there's a very famous actor who did my podcast, and I was talking to him, and he told me that he had been in rehab like 30 times. And, I mean, think about it. He's rich. Well, I mean, reasonably rich. He has money. He could do whatever the fuck he wants. And then all of a sudden he, you know, like he's been to rehab, but, you know, he's in a position where it doesn't have to take. And he's probably done like relatively extended periods of time where he didn't uh, go back to drinking or whatever. And, you know, it's just it doesn't work. I mean, he's done it over and over and over. And my thing with Zan is like maybe the first time isn't going to be the time that it works. I pray that it is. I pray that like this is what allows him to be able to take a step back and not have to rely on this shit anymore. But even if it isn't, even if this is not the right time, even if this is not, even if he's not broken, because usually you have to be broken to, to really give in and go to rehab. But I mean, he's in the position where he's either going to do this now and just admit that he has a problem and go to rehab now, or he's going to be thinking about it the whole rest of his life and he might never do it. And I think like, there's people that I've had in my life that I've seen how bad they've gone down the rabbit hole, but it's always been a situation where they wouldn't go to rehab, where they couldn't afford to go to rehab. I've offered to pay for people to go to rehab that I know before, and they just didn't really want to do it. You know, Some people just are really, really comfortable with their drug or whatever of choice, and they just don't want to... They don't want to take a step back. I know sometimes people like act like I'm a hypocrite for this. I mean, I've never been addicted to drugs per se you know I, I feel like weed is probably the thing i'm most addicted to i, I and i'm like we talk about pills and stuff i used to do zans all that shit coke whatever it's bad but i never got like hooked hooked on it i got you know i maybe went through periods where i fucked around a little too much but it was never like super bad but you know some people just have that personality type and especially with a uh, young diego here i mean he has been fucking with his shit since he was so young and I don't think I can even like wrap my head around how much that shapes your brain when you're a young person and you have to fucking go through your brain developing. You know, picture I don't I don't know what age exactly you started to do it, but like even if it was like fourteen or fifteen, it's like you are going through your developmental years. You're going through puberty, being fucked up on pills, addicted to shit. I mean, God. I consider myself so lucky and probably like a big part of my success that I waited until I was an adult to even try drugs. I wish I had never done it in general. I don't know if I could say that because I made it out good with experience knowing what life is like. But I do feel, I feel like, oh yeah, I just realized it says Diego gets home in roughly a month. Honestly, I hope that he takes longer than that. I hope he takes a sweet ass time because the more time that he gives himself to be away from all of the uh, bad things in life, the better of a chance that he's actually going to be able to beat it. So, I don't know. My prayers are with Lil Zan, Diego. I don't know what I should call him in this instance. But, you know, I've known him since before he had shit. I knew him when he was a random-ass kid hanging out at my store. So, my perspective on it is a little different. And, like, seeing how much fame and attention and notoriety he's gotten from – uh, building up his name has been incredible, but I really just want to see him like get to a state of mind where he's a little bit more stable and he's able to actually really take advantage of like his talents and what he's built for himself. And really just the fact that there's uh look at 5.2 million people that love him. 
Like, that's pretty incredible. And I don't know. I just really hope that the fucking rehab thing works out because, I mean, a lot of these rappers of this generation of sort of like SoundCloud rappers or whatever you might want to call it, a lot of them could stand to go to rehab. And sometimes it feels like they won't. Or maybe they like love the shit that they're taking so much or they just haven't gotten around to it yet or they're just so insulated from the repercussions that they haven't gone for it yet. But I think in like Diego's case, he's somebody that, has, you know, he's, he's got a real deal of dependency on this shit. And I think if he takes at least a month to be able to step back, that who knows he could come back like a very different person actually we really we were supposed to do an interview before he went off and did this and uh i mean zan is the kind of guy that i could just talk to on camera for hours like it's nothing because he's just easy to talk to and i always really look forward to speaking to him uh on camera and everything but yeah i'm glad that he is taking a step back and i just really pray that this is actually it's actually it and i pray that when he gets out he doesn't have a bunch of you shitheads trying to offer him drugs on tour so much love to Lil Xan I just wanted to make this video speak about it and let people out there know that if you are in a similar boat if you feel like you're really addicted to drugs that there are resources out there and that there's people who care about you sorry and uh yeah your hero or one of your heroes presumably if you care about this kind of music and stuff Lil Xan he's doing it and you might need to do it too because Drugs are really, really bad, and they'll ruin your life, especially these fucking pills. So that's my video. That's my PSA. Thank you very much to everybody who watched this. NoJumber.com, Lil Xan, very, very much looking forward to seeing you when you get out. Uh, hopefully you don't have the internet, so you won't actually see this until you get out, but hopefully Annie is at least able to tell you that uh, we love you and we miss you and we really care about you. So Lil Xan, Adam22, we out.